Well, the challenges of maintaining growth and revenue are not restricted to Facebook. Twitter made a huge splash when it launched on the stock market recently, but its future revenue and growth are even harder to see. And even in China, the social media space is seeing fierce competition and falling revenues. Well, joining me now in the studio is Sanjeet Paul Chowdhury, a tech industry analyst at Platform Thinking and a writer on issues tech. Sanjeet, let's start with that Princeton uh, review. They compared social media to a disease in, in the way that it grows and then declines uh, and suggested that it's going to collapse in its membership. Do you see any merit in that? Sure. The Princeton study is interesting because, uh, you know, social media, uh, social networks grow like diseases in the sense that, uh, you know, the diseases spread when one person sneezes, another person catches it, similar to how invites work and how s invites help to bring this, uh, grow a social network. The problem is that diseases do not work beyond that in the way that social networks work because diseases are a single person experience. You're infected and you're infected as long as the germ is active in you. You don't care whether others are infected. They don't have an effect on you. Whereas a network is different. In practical terms, I guess the analogy breaks down in some places, but I mean, the disease in a way is now seems to be turning 180 because the people who caught the disease in the first place are now uncatching it, if you like, because we're hearing about young people just saying, you know what, we're not interested in this anymore. Sure. Um, well, the, 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 the thing is that if somebody is already on Facebook, what holds him over there is, is the network, the, the power of the parties and the people at the party. And unless you can, you know, the problem uh, with breaking a network is that it just doesn't break off the way an infection leaves you. You have to have a minimum number of users in your network move before the value of using Facebook declines beyond a level where you would yourself want to move as well. But in a world where you've got Twitter, Snapchat, uh, and in China, Weibo and all these things, uh, whether the amount of choice and the way in which things are done is becoming more interesting, more engaging, and just more disparate, sure. uh, theoretically the, the piece of, of the pie available to each one becomes smaller. Well, uh, that's an interesting point because uh, the way social networking worked in the past is not how it works today because on, on the web, Facebook is one place where you do multiple things. You, do, you, you chat with your friends, you publish things, you consume information. On the mobile, you have Snapchat and, and WhatsApp for, for communication, you have Twitter for publishing, you have Flipboard for consuming information. So the way competition works, it's different. The, what, what works on the web gets unbundled on mobile. Now Facebook has so far worked very well in transitioning users to mobile. And it, the, the key threat that they have is you know, how do they prevent users uh, from how, how do they prevent other applications from stealing time? Y you don't necessarily need to steal users from Facebook, you just need to steal their time and the less time they spend on Facebook, the, the fewer ads they click and that's, that's how they, it's a threat to the business. So, I mean, how, how big a threat do you see this as being? Because, I mean, the big question that everybody asking is who's going to emerge from this uh, as, the, as the big player? And Facebook, of course, is, is the 800 pound gorilla sure. uh, and probably will be for some time, sure. but it won't always be. Well, I, I don't expect a huge exodus in users completely from Facebook initially, but there is a growing, uh, you know, there's a growing chunk of time that users spend on, on Facebook that is now moving away to all of these other applications. And that's why you, uh, Facebook kind of realizes that, which is why initially its strategy was to create a layer on top of the, of the mobile phone and, and own the mobile phone. And now it's moved to creating a portfolio of applications that individually try to compete with all of these. And in, it's increasingly having problems in successfully competing over there. It, it launched paper last week in a bid to compete with the time that people spend on Flipboard instead of on Facebook. And it remains to be seen whether they can convincingly do that. So while the network as such may not break down the way MySpace broke, while users may not leave Facebook in droves, the threat is that they are spending less time on Facebook and less time means less money for Facebook. Uh, and just in a broader sense, the way that networking, the platform model, the, the engagement of people in sure. one place has been evolving. Uh, are you seeing it as still a growth industry or are you seeing it as something that will, will, have prove, will prove in the end to simply have been a fad for a short space of time? I feel that networking as, as a general, uh, you know, as, as a space in itself is, is a growth industry because as more and more things c get connected, you need to have things exchanged over those connections. And now w w we're seeing things being connected, not just with new people being added to internet, but the way they use the internet, the way they access the internet. So networking as such is, is uh, something I'm pretty bullish on. The other thing that I see which is increasingly important is the the effort to grow a new network has fallen drastically. In the past, you had to get users from an existing network, bring them over, and 
enable them to create their whole network on, on, on this new destination. With something like Snapchat or, or WhatsApp, they just use the phones and the phone books network and just create a network on top of it. So mm -hmm. it's a lot easier than it's ever been to create a network. So plenty more to come, I would imagine. Right. All right, Sanjeev, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Sanjeev Chowdhury, speaking on social networks there.